In this video, we're going to learn how to display custom images on an e-paper hat for the Raspberry Pi. We're going to use photo editing software to prepare the images so that they can display using all three colors of the e-paper hat for the Raspberry Pi. All right, let's do this. For this video, I'm going to be using the 2.7 inch e-paper hat for the Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi single board computer and a USB to Ethernet adapter because my laptop doesn't have a native Ethernet port. A great feature about e-paper displays is that they can hold an image even in the absence of power. A downside is that they're slow to refresh but as we've seen in Kindles and other devices, they're pretty great because the images are really sharp. We'll go ahead and connect the e-paper hat to the Raspberry Pi, connect the ethernet to the USB adapter to my computer, and connect power to the Pi. As I've shown in other videos, I'm going to remote connect via SSH onto the Raspberry Pi. If this is not clear, I encourage you to watch my other videos. The link is in the description. I'll start by opening up a terminal and getting the IP address of the Pi. I'm going to log in over SSH to the Pi. I'll need to obtain its IP address and then use the SSH program to log in. For this video, I'm going to copy all the files that we use in that video so that we can customize it to display the images we want. I'll copy all the Python code to a directory that I'll name my underscore EPD for ePaper display underscore demo. Using the command ls, I can see all the files that are in that directory. I'll go ahead and open the main.py script so that we can modify it to display our own images. I'll get rid of some of the example code that we will need for this tutorial. We can see that to display images, we simply need to create two files. In the demo code, there was one called black.bmp, which is the portion of the image that's displayed in black, and another one called red.bmp that, as you can imagine, is the portion of the image that's displayed in red. For this example, I'm going to be using an image that I have already created in Photoshop. It's, of course, my favorite image, the mascot for Acrobotic, little acrobot. The image is 400 by 300 pixels in resolution. If we go to the manufacturer's website, we see that the images we want to display need to have a 264 by 176 pixel resolution. So using your favorite photo editing software, you can go ahead and crop your images and resize them to be exactly of that size. Notice that with the default orientation, the width needs to be the shorter of the two measurements. So I'll go ahead and rotate the image by 90 degrees counterclockwise. I can go ahead and save the image in the BMP format and I'll name it black2.bmp. I'll leave the default options and then I'll go back to the terminal so that we can load that image from my computer onto the Raspberry Pi. I'll use a copy over SSH with the command SCP. I'll give it the two necessary parameters, the location of the file in my computer and the destination directory on the Raspberry Pi where I want to copy it. I can then go back to the main.py script and modify the name of the image that I'm going to be using in that script. I can go ahead and save the script and using the ls command, I can see that the file is there. So now when I run the script with the Python command line tool, I can see that the image is displayed on my e-paper hat. So without working, we can have a little bit of fun. I'll go back to my photo editing software and using different layers, I'm going to save the body of the robot as something I want to display in black and the actual name of the company as something I want to display in red. 
Now go back to the terminal to copy those two new images to the Raspberry Pi over SSH. Using once again the SCP command, I'll copy all the BMP files in my desktop to that same directory on the Raspberry Pi. If I go back to my main.py script, I can change the names for the images I actually want to use. So now, when I run the script, I can see the body of Acrobot displayed in black and the name Acrobotic displayed in red. So there you have it. Really quickly, we've set up the 2.7 inch e-paper hat for the Raspberry Pi to display custom images that we can create using our favorite photo editing software. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two. That really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time.